going on guys? Nick Santini here and in today's video I'm going to show you how I completed my first custom water cooling loop and I did this with the help of the S240 kit by EK Waterbox and honestly if it wasn't for that kit this water cooling loop would have been way harder to make. So uh, yeah anyways guys let me show you how I did it.
So like I was saying in the beginning, I use the EK Waterblocks S240 kit and that kit honestly makes a custom water cooling loop pretty simple. I mean, almost as simple as building a computer. Um, it's just, you know, a matter of having the right parts. And so EK Waterblocks puts all those parts together for you. So you don't have to worry about finding the right fittings and the right tubing and the right pump and reservoir and all that stuff. So they take the uh, guesswork out of it for you. So luckily for me, I didn't have any leaks the first time around, which I know some people do have a problem with that. And none of my fittings were leaking. I left it on for about mm, 24 hours or so and everything ran smoothly and worked fine. It actually works so well, in fact, that it dropped my temperatures um, under load, like 13 degrees, which is pretty significant. I think the AMD stock cooler, the Wraith Spire cooler, does a pretty good job, but uh, not as you know, good of a job as this custom water cooling loop. So while I was building this, I did run into a couple hiccups. Um, one problem I had was that I thought it included a mount that it didn't actually include. I think on some of the higher end kits, it does actually include the universal mount where you can mount it in any orientation on the radiator. Now I had to come up with my own kind of design, which ended up being a little bit janky, but it definitely works and it doesn't look too bad. Um, I actually put 90 degree little elbow brackets on there and then screwed in the pump to the bottom of that. And so it ended up working out fairly well. I had to use zip ties just so that the pump wasn't leaning forward because I only have two of the posts connected. So, I mean, it, it does look fairly decent for all the stuff that I had to include um, in that fix. But overall, I think it looks actually pretty good. Now, I would say if you're questioning whether or not you wanna do a custom water cooling loop, I think this is definitely the way to go. Um, although it's not hardline tubing or anything like that, it's you know, really easy to do and I think just about anybody can do it. So I would say go for it. Go with one of these kits from EK Waterblock. It makes it just super easy. So if you like this video, I recommend checking out my previous video over there if you haven't already seen it. It's my PC building guide video that I did where I put together my Ryzen 5 1600 build that you see right behind me. Um, it turned out really well, so you guys should go check that out. And also consider subscribing and hitting the like button on this video and some of my others if you, you know, enjoyed the videos. It really helps me out a lot. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.